Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Gundam Reconquist in G Episode 8. Now, sorry this review's out a day late. Uh, I believe the episode did come out a day late instead of Fusey, it's on Thursday, but today, I believe it did come out today, which is Friday. So, yeah, sorry. So, so that's kind of why. But, anyways, though. <sighs> this series. <laughs> this series is a beautiful confusing, jumbled train wreck of an anime. And I fucking love it for that. But at the same time, I can perfectly see why people would not like this. Okay? Because the story is just so fucking confusing with so many things, okay? Like, they... I don't understand a lot... Most of this, like, techno babble that they keep throwing out there. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm not a seasoned Gundam anime watcher or not. But I just don't understand all that too well, and uh, plus there's also Raraya, with who I thought was kind of funny and cute at first, but right now I'm really starting to not like her too much. Okay, she's just coming off as really fucking annoying to me now, and I real I don't know how long she plans on staying that they plan on having her stay like this in the series, but I really hope it's not for too much longer, because as it stands right now, she's really annoying to me. Okay. And that stupid little fish that she keeps fucking tormenting. I don't understand what her purpose in the series is at this point, quite honestly. And this is episode 8 already, okay. Um, also, this episode itself was kind of confused. I mean, the confusing parts weren't too much in this episode, but there were was one thing that was really confusing, which is why Bellary's mother didn't get arrested when she landed at the enemy's headquarters. That made no fucking sense to me at all. Okay. She landed at the enemy fucking headquarters. She didn't get captured at all. Okay. Although there is a pretty interesting scene in this episode where they do start talking. She starts talking with uh, Ida's mother and. Or uh, Ida's father, sorry. Excuse me. And they basically decide what they're going to do because apparently there's some like. Apparently the Ameria army has like some satellites in space and they've been monitoring the moon and apparently there's. Someone, or maybe like a group of people, really suspicious on the moon who might end up being villains later on. Okay. So that that was actually a pretty good scene. And like I said before, in this episode, there wasn't really... It wasn't nearly as confusing as previous episodes. In terms of the plot, it was basically just the stuff with Bellary's mother and her chatting with uh, Ida's father and whatnot about the moon. And also this other chick at the... Uh, at the uh, Japanese base, who apparently joined the arm, apparently is good friends with Bellary, and she joined the army so she could hunt, so that she could locate Bellary and whatnot, and also like spy on this other guy, which I don't remember what his name is. Okay, and that's pretty much in the extent of the plot progression and the story progression in this series. Okay, so yeah. So this episode wasn't nearly as confusing as previous episodes have been, which is good, of course. <laughs> but really, this the the main like driving point of this series, I think, is the action and the character interactions, especially the action. Like in all the other episodes so far, the action in this episode is was really fucking good. Okay, it really was so fucking good. But I know there's a lot of people that don't like anime to watch watch anything just for the end, just for the action. So that would definitely turn a lot of people off to since the story's so confusing. And granted, this isn't the first confusing series I've ever watched. Okay, okay, but the thing is, it hasn't com actually completed its run yet. And I'm pretty sure, and this might be one of those series where it, like, the majority of the plot twists and revelations and whatnot and intrigue comes like towards the very end and at the very end. So I might actually appreciate this series as a whole a lot more when it's finally finished, but as of now it's not even halfway through its run yet. Obviously. Okay. Um, also, I don't know what, if they're trying to go for serious or comedical here, okay? And what I mean is that, you know, you have these moments like, the majority of it's been comedy so far, okay? And you have these moments, but you have these moments that seem like it's going to get really fucking serious. 
And from what I've heard, Gundam in the past has gotten extremely dark and extremely serious. But they don't really go anywhere with them. You know what I mean? At least so far they haven't. And later on, this and this might be one of those series that starts out really like comedical and laid back and gets really serious later on. But as of now, like they won't really seem to be going anywhere with the dark elements. And I really hope that they do. Because I think this is the type of series that would definitely benefit greatly if they did. Okay. So anyways, though. Other than that... Overall, I did really enjoy this episode of Gundam Recom Geese to NG. Okay, it was a very good episode, uh, if you know what you're getting into. It was a very good episode for what it was, which was a really good action fest. Animation amazing, music amazing, with Clem Nick doing an awesome shit as always. Clem Nick. The plot's not too heavy in this episode. Okay, which is good, because the plot, as I keep saying, is really confusing in this series, unfortunately. So, anyway, so, if you haven't seen this week's episode of Gundam Recon Geist NG, then I definitely recommend that you do, okay? I thought it was a really good episode, I can't wait for next week's episode, so anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys, see you guys, thank you for watching, Bye bye